Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we rank the best Roy Jones Jr. knockouts of his career. Let's go. Number 10. Roy Jones Jr. vs Glenn Wolf. On February 13, 1993, undefeated number 2 ranked middleweight contender Roy Jones Jr. takes on number 6 ranked Glenn Wolf in the first fight of an HBO World Championship boxing doubleheader at Caesars Palace Paradise, Nevada, US. Wolf, for the most part, stick. Short left inside, and Wolf is on. And the right over the top, and now Wolf is holding on. Glenn knocked down. But he's probably never been in against her with the power of Roy Jones. <laughs> to get warmed up. He threw about four left hooks less than a second there, George. Oh, wide by Jones. Dances, has... drops his hands, and pounds away. And Glenn Wolf has had enough. Number 9. Roy Jones Jr. versus Tulani Malinga. On August 14, 1993, Jones scored a sixth-round knockout win over Tulani Malingo with a highlight reel left hook in round six. After Malingo makes multiple attempts to get off the canvas, referee stops the contest. Any other constructive reason? With her lead left hand out of the southpaw stance. Look at how Malinga holds the left shoulder up in front of his face and entirely lay and backs Malinga up. And another left hook left. Can he do it with two or three punches in a row? Question of the evening. Left uppercut. Very good buddy. Two. Straight left hand was spectacular. Three, four, five. Second knockdown of Malinga's recent career. The other was by Chris Eubanks. And this is it. Number 8. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Jorge Baca. On January 10, 1992, Jones scored a first-round knockout win over Jorge Baca. Jones used a fast, well-timed counter left hoop to put him down for the count. To a Sugar Ray Leonard, he definitely has the... Oh, sharp right hand. He holds himself, but neither one landed solid. That Jones right lands against the ropes. Number 7. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Virgil Hill. On April 25, 1998, Jones scored a fourth-round knockout win over Virgil Hill, Jones Jr. the world light heavyweight champion, needed only one wicked body punch to eliminate former world champion Virgil Hill. Number 6. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Brian Brennan. On October 4, 1996, Jones retained IBF super middleweight title against IBF rank number 1 Brennan. Jones floored Brennan once in the first round and twice in the second. This was Jones' last fight as a super middleweight. That started that whole Again, combination. We mentioned that Jones was so calm weathering that, but how much they hurt. And it Will he make it through the round? Yeah, he's holding it. He's coming from all directions, always unexpected. Oh. His left hook. He never sets it. Arms and gloves. And the right to throw a lot of punches, which not too many people can. Kind of person you can root for. Mm. Look out, crowd can't believe what they're seeing. They were so psyched fight against Roy Jones. And their man is just getting hammered in there now. Ron Lipton watching as Roy Jones tattoos Brandon. And then Jones says, look, you want more? Okay. Number 5. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Percy Harris. 
On December 5, 1992, Jones was ranked number two by the IBF and Harris was ranked number seven. Jones knocked Harris down twice in the first round, once in the second and once in the fourth to one vacant WBC Continental America's super middleweight title. All kinds of trouble, offensively at all. Jones is showing some patience here. Well, we may be seeing the star future. There at 164. Oh, the left hook solidly, and now there's blood coming out of Harris's mouth. And downcounts, or knockdowns, I should say. Roy Jones fights. Don't blink. He just doesn't set guys up with that left hand. Right as he backs up and moves away from Harris. Another right cross. Harris in trouble again. And Harris make it out of round four, not without going down. Antonio Orlando has seen it. Number four. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Glenn Kelly. In 2002, Jones retained his title by knocking out Australian boxer Glenn Kelly in seven rounds via knockout. Jones put both hands behind his back. As Kelly moved in behind a jab, Jones went over the jab with a right to the head. Kelly went down and was counted out. Came close to showing us it's a right hand to the body. And Jones time. Fight in a conventional style as he did this. The right hand. Well, I think that uh, Thomas would have been a big big win. Against Glenn Kelly of Australia. And down. Shane Mosley learned that now Saturday night. Again. Once again. Third knockdown of the night. Who never saw it. <laughs> Number 3. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Montel Griffin II. In 1997, Jones regained the World Light Heavyweight title easily, knocking Griffin down within the first 20 seconds of the fight, then ending the fight by knocking Griffin out 2 minutes and 31 seconds and with a leaping left hand shot. Griffin shying away from about Roy Jones' left hook leads. Another left hook there. Huge round for Roy Jones so far. Benefiting by it. Oh, what a left hook. What a left hook. Second Good knockdown left. of the round. That was a leaping left hook, and Griffin may not survive it. He's got trouble. Nine. And that's that. Number two. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Vinny Ponciense. In 1995, billed as the Devil and Mr. Joneses, he faced former IBF lightweight champion Vinny Ponciense and defeated him in round six, after knocking down Ponciense three times. In the fourth round, Jones became the first fighter in CompuBox history to go an entire round without being hit by his opponent. Now, he says no, but meanwhile he's not landing. Would it have come from a class of ever a punch for everything? The body work by Jones. He worked. Good hook that hurt Cassianza and the uppercut. Cassianza's in trouble. Ready to go. Close to being okay. One big shot that ended here. That's it. Because he's tired and he is wide also. Number one. Roy Jones Jr. vs. Art Sarwana. In 1992, Roy Jones Jr. was still on the rise and gave us a strange knockout against Art Saruano in his 17th fight as a pro. Jones landed a right to the side of Saruano's head, sending him down to the canvas, landing on the side of his body. Thanks for watching please like, comment and subscribe.